Hello and welcome to week two, lesson three of Willand PE. I'm here with Jack today. Say hello. hello. Okay. And today's lesson you'll need a broom and a piece of paper. Mop will do. We'll wait for you to come back with these. Welcome back. So today we're going to try some different exercises with this. And we're going to improve your dexterity with implements. So many sports and activities like bats and rackets use things like this. So all Jack's going to do now is catch this with two hands. Got a magic broom, it stands on its end. All right. There you go. And I'll just change position so he has to move a bit now. Catch it with two hands still. Good. And again. Yep. And one more. Okay. So mate, that's quite easy when you've got this magic broom that doesn't fall over very much. So we can make this harder in two different ways. One, we can ask him to catch with one hand. So you catch with one hand now. Yep. And again. Yep. And again. Is that too fast? Don't, don't be a mean parent and knock it over. There we go. So good handing. So you did left hand right there. The other way to do it, stand it the other way up and it will fall in more random directions now. Ready? Good. And again. Yep. Okay, good. So everybody's warmed up, just letting it fall a little bit, catching with two hands. We'll make this even harder now. Now the task is to try and leave it as long as possible before it hits the floor. Are you ready? He's getting ready. So notice how his weight's balanced. He's bending his knees, ready to go. Good. And again. Good. I'll move this one out of the way. I'll just move it so you don't hit your head. Good one. Now, if you notice the leg positions that Jack's in, you're going to hold the next one, all right? So catch it. If you see there, that looks like the lunges we practiced last week. So you use your leg, bend your legs to get down low to the ground. Good. One more. So he's also catching right hand, sometimes left hand times. So, so just be confident with your catching now. Get the two hands if you need to, right hand if you need to. But then if you've got someone who's quite good, you just want to make sure that they're ready, ready, ready. And then they have to move fast. Good job, Jack. All right, so you can play around with that. Next one. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so you can have lots of fun just trying to do that. And that gets your legs warmed up. Are you warm now? Okay, so now we're going to do some different exercises where you have to hold on to the, you hold on to the broom, okay? Then you let go and clap and catch it again before it drops. Easy. Two claps. Okay. Now clap your feet. So you're going to show everyone how to clap your feet. You do two claps with your feet. Yeah. You want to try? Sure okay. okay, ready? Oh yeah, you're meant to hold it. That's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can you clap your hands and your feet? Good. So there's an example. Try turning now. So remember uh, last week we did the jumps with all the different types of jumps. So you can go from one foot to one foot or you turn 90 degrees. All right. So you hold on to it. So Jack did a 360 straight away. Don't try that at home unless you want to lose all your parents' furniture and crockery. So just try a quarter turn first. You can do it like that and come back the other way. She's coming turned towards me. Yep. Now try a 180. Catching it behind his back. It's more difficult. Yep. And then show a 360 again. Yep. Okay, good. So there's other things you can do. What else could you do? Could you touch the floor between? So touch the floor with both hands. Yeah, that was an easy one, wasn't it? Yeah, what else could you do? Could you touch your nose on the floor and get up again? Okay. Hold on, ready? Try and touch your nose on the floor. <laughs> was that quite hard? I can't even get it on the floor. Wait. Shall I try? Oh, like that. Like that, yeah. Try that, try that, yeah. Oh, nearly. Do you want to try that again? That was a close one. Right, you ready? 
Oh, super job. There we go. Well done. All right. So you can find different ways of moving around like that. Fist bump for that. That was a good one. But remember, just any, any move like that is okay at the beginning. Right. Do you feel like now? Let's see how bendy you can get. We're going to play limbo. So you put your hand up there. You try and get under one arm like that. Okay. Okay, good. And then try the other hand. Ooh. So don't, don't have to do this one fast. This one's more like a stretch and movement one. Okay, so do this slowly. Get under that hand. That's it. Now, Jack's reasonably tall for a primary school. Make it harder by gradually working further and further down this stick. Okay, so you're going to hold your hand as you get warm up. Keep the stick on the ground. Keep the stick on the ground. Yeah. So parents, you might have to judge this one. That's it. Hold on. Slowly. Slowly. Keep hold of it. That's it. Come up a bit. Oh. And so he's a bit stiff at the moment, just warming up. And as you get warmer and warmer, you'll go lower and lower down. Okay. And if you need to, you can put your other hand on the floor. Okay. So don't go too low. Just go about halfway again. That's it. Try and get underneath. Oh, stick came off. Yeah. And when they're young and bendy like this, they can get right under. And, and the reception and year one kids will be able to hold further down, but they, their balance and control might not be able to be as good. So there we go. And that gets you warm up, ready for your back. Right. Let's get ready to rumble with a paper. What do we do with the paper? Scrumple it up. So now we're going to work on some stick skills. We're going to play a game of French cricket first. So French cricket, I'm stood here with a broom like this. Jack's going to go further back. He's going to use his left hand because he's too good with his right hand. Left hand only. And he's got to try and hit me below the knees. Okay. Oh. So he's missed. No, left hand. I know I didn't. So then I turn behind. Oh. And he's got me out. So now it's Jack's go to bat. Well, he's tried a new method now. He's trying a new method here. So I've got to try and hit him below the knees. Yes. So we're going quite close here. So you want to... Might, you want to use your right hand. I did use my right hand, but I'm old. Right, so now we'll try a bit further back. Yeah, go further back. That's closer. Go further back. Ready? Yes. Oh. He's making me look bad in front of Miss Shapcock. She's not going to pick me for the staff versus pupils cricket team. Okay, so that's stick cricket. So you just get a piece of paper and use the broom like that and try and get them out. Another one we can do. Jack's already started. Let's just make sure we're ready for the camera. So uh, I'm going to put another stick here. You can fold a towel up or put a skipping rope or, or scarf down here. And all I want you to do now, Jack, is I'm standing here and I'm just sweeping the piece of paper up and down like that. Try that. It's good. So earlier this morning I asked him to change grip. So you see I'm holding it here, sweeping, changing hands. And this just gets your hands used to change in positional stick. Or you can do it this way. And here I'm not changing hand position. I'm getting used to called, it's called reverse stick. Okay, so try it now doing that. You'll need a shorter stick sometimes with the kids because that is quite big. So keep your hands, don't switch your hands now. Don't switch your hands now. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good boy. That's it. You're sweeping there and there. So he's not changing his hands now. Okay. Good. So you've got those actions there for that. And then you can just make little obstacle courses. You can do it with paper or a ball. Paper's quite good because it doesn't roll around the place too much. So then, Jack, what you can do is just see how you can go forwards around there like that. Okay? Good. And stop there. Okay, stop there. Well done. So paper doesn't roll around so much. With a ball, is harder. Okay, try that with a tennis ball. And you see the ball's already got away a little bit, so it's harder. Wait, wait, wait. And once they master that,
Ugh. No skills. No skills. Right, try it that way up. Oh, he's concentrating. Go on, Jack. That's it. Oh. There we go. And well done. Well done, Jack. Okay, mind that stick. I don't want to have any damage. So remember, broom end, better control. This end, harder control. Paper's really good to just teach people just the basic ideas of it. And then uh, a ball like this is harder still. Okay, so have fun and see different ways you can invent using the broom and a piece of paper and a ball. Thank you and goodbye.